What's up, Internet? Revisiting our budget build for 15K. If you didn't see that video, gumawa kami ng budget build for only 15,000 na gaming PC na magandang performance. At that price range, the best value for money is second-hand parts. And we got a good deal with a 10th gen Intel na pasok sa budget. Ang problema, napili namin GPU, the 1650 low profile, hindi kasha dito sa OEM case. And so a lot of you guys are super technical and you had a lot of comments on how we can address that. And so I just wanted to comment on those comments. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang um order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Sinubukan talaga namin everything we could do to keep this build intact. Kasi good price nga siya, good performance. One of the questions we got a lot was, could we just change the case? Tanggalin yung motherboard, ilipat sa ibang ITX case. Since yung issue lang naman, hindi kasha yung GPU dito. Unfortunately, even the board is proprietary. If you notice here in the back, the I.O. ports don't line up with the traditional standard I.O. ports. So hindi siya magla-line up sa classic na I.O. shield. So we wouldn't be able to fit this into a standard motherboard. The front as well, all of these front buttons and front ports in a computer case, usually they gain functionality, nabubuhay sila because they're connected by wires from the case inside to the motherboard. Pero itong proprietary design, wala na mga wires, wala na mga headers. The front is literally mated or the motherboard and the front slot into place. So that also wouldn't work with a standard ITX case. So changing the case out of the question. Next suggestion was riser cables. And yes, that is possible. One way to do it would be literally tanggalin yung tong front cover naka riser cable yung GPU. And the riser cable is just basically an extension cable between the GPU and the PCIe slot. So the, let's say the GPU would be hanging here somehow, may stand ka dito, or you could plop it on top of the other components. Gagana naman siya. Yes, that's possible. Although, removing the top cover, finding a place to kind of position the GPU para hindi mayang, para hindi mahulog, all of that does seem a little janky, even for a second-hand 15K budget build. We did try to use a riser cable to position the GPU elsewhere, pero hindi talaga kaya. Tumatama naman siya dun sa PCIe 1X slot. So keeping it inside the case, even with the riser cable, not an option. Keeping it outside of the case via a riser cable, yes, that's possible. Although that was a level of open type PC case that we wouldn't want for a budget build. Especially we assume a 15K build is somebody who's just starting out with computers and perhaps they might not be comfortable with everything exposed. Kasi literally, tatanggalin mo yung top cover to make room for the GPU which would be hanging somewhere on top. Another interesting workaround would have been not to use a 1650 and instead use an RX 6400. And yes, it's true. Mapapasok mo naman yung RX 6400 dito. It will fit. So we avoid the problem that we had with the 1650, even the 1650 low profile. The problem with using an RX 6400 is that it is a PCIe 4 card. And when it's running at that speed, medyo kapantay niya yung 1650. But the available PCIe slot here is PCIe 3, and it's PCIe 3 X4. So not the full bandwidth available to an X16 slot. So even that is technically not a problem. You can go into your BIOS and tell the GPU to run at PCIe 3 speeds. Ang problema, an RX 6400 at PCIe 4 settings versus a 1650, they're around equal. But if you step down the RX 6400 
to PCIe 3 X4, you lose substantial performance. Let's say roughly around 10 to 15 percent, which you can see in the performance in games. Baba ba talaga frame rates mo. So while we could fit in an RTX 6400, the performance wouldn't be as good as a 1650. Pero nga, if we had bought a 6400 instead of a 1650, it would work. Although we would take a performance hit. Is it worth it to keep a 1650 but just find a different computer? Because we did find an 8th gen and that will be our next video. Yung next series na to of our attempt at a budget build using secondhand parts. And so we can see how much of a performance hit we take if we downgrade the CPU because we found one that will actually fit a 1650. But the idea of using a 6400, especially if you haven't bought a GPU yet, yes, is possible if you don't mind that performance hit. So it's kind of obvious by now that we're kind of hung up on the 1650. We really want to use it. We tried to go with a low profile, mapara mapasok, di talaga kaya. Our tech guys even tried to deshroud it or basically remove this top, remove the fans, which would leave the passive heatsink element. Kung mapasok ba natin, basically you're, you're just lopping off this part. Without the active heating element, mapapasok ba natin sa PC? And it almost succeeded, except for the fact that the DVI port gets in the way. They actually tried monkeying around to remove the DVI port, but it's soldered on. Hindi lang pwedeng basta-bastang tanggalin. And so that leaves us stuck again. Even without its fans, the 1650 low profile is just too darn large to fit into here. So that's a really interesting about using OEMs, about delving into the second-hand market. And dami pang ibang considerations. And it's really forces you to become creative in the kind of parts that you use, in the kinds of parts that you can fit into something like this. May pros and cons of going with this second-hand OEM approach. Definitely one of the cons as we've documented in this video and the last video, the parts are not standardized, so they don't mesh well sometimes with off-the-shelf components. But what you do get when everything works is a very good performer for its price. And that one, we're gonna talk about in the next budget build video. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.